what's up guys it's a new day a new vlog uh, hope you guys like that small town video um, anyways i got some parts from my brother uh, head back home so let's kick it to the eye hi guys back at the garage um already got the car on jack stands i'm gonna go ahead and try to tackle that steering rack bushing picked up a new one Two of them. I'm actually gonna try this one. This one looks a lot more. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna try one of these two. See which one works best. Let's find out. This is the car's on jack stands. Let's take a look at me. This is powder chloride, so it's still looking good. Anyways, let's see. I right, got the top bolt out. All I gotta do is get the bottom one off, and yeah. Let's pray that this new bushing will help me out. I'll be back. I got the bracket off. Let's go take a look at it. If you guys want to see how a powder coating job looks like. Pretty damn good. Alright, back to what I was doing. Let's go get that bushing. Let's try this one. Be back again. Alright, guys, finally bolted up the bracket. I got a new bushing. Um, I did have to cut the new one off a little bit, but it's all right. Uh, this bushing didn't work for me, so I guess I get to return that. Let's go take a look. Yeah, looking good. I don't think that's gonna go anywhere. Uh. Anyways, um, I was double checking. I was double checking the car, and I noticed this camber plate. This camber plate moved from here to there, and yeah, I guess that explains why my steering rack kind of went off. I'm guessing this shifted when it hit a bump, but um, yeah, now I'm gonna have to go and redo alignment on this car. Kind of sucks, but it's alright. Maybe I'll try to go and get recon for this car and see see if I'll pass. Usually, third time's the charm. And fuck, it sucks. But uh, you know, what? I got that done. Um, there's something that I want to do with these tires. Uh, what do you guys think I'm gonna do with them? All right, you guys guess it. I'm gonna do the letterings on this tire, just because these tires are getting old, and I'm gonna have to replace them soon anyway. So fuck it, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna stamp needle on here, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. Boom! All right, guys. So I bought this from where did I buy this from? Ben Franklin, less than a dollar. So what I did is I drew the needle sign or the, no the needle logo, and yeah, you already know what's gonna happen now. I'm gonna grab some paint, paint this bad boy. Let's hope I don't fuck it up. All right, I'll be back. Oh, all right, that's one done. I need to do the other side of the rim. Um, right now I'm prepping this one. I'm um, still going at it, you know, when you're doing this kind of stuff, you want to take your time. So she got rear wheels, of course you don't want over spray. I'm going to go ahead and cover the front, the back of the barrel, and I'm going to lay the sheet over. And I'm going to paint this one next. Uh, super simple. If you guys know how to paint, it's an easy process. If you don't, you better ask somebody. <laughs> Hi guys, 
Finish the tire, lady. Check it out. Came all right. I mean, it could be better, but for less than two bucks. Comment down below. If you guys don't know what this is, this is makeshift. Uh, that's just from my friend. No, I gotta support the homie, right? Alright, guys, so I'm done with this video for today. I'm gonna go help my brother with the D. Today we're going to be vlogging about the Integra and revealing my other secret. Let's get the 150 inches and a little 60 inches. Already getting chopped. The longest one, I guess. Alright, guys, so we are going to do the pedals. Yes, the clutch cable line is too small. Damn. Time to drop the steering column. Get these pedals off. Good job, bro. What do we got here, brother? <laughs> what you got in your face? <laughs> Alright, so we got the right cable clutch line, right? Shit, no need clutch line, huh? Okay. Man, I don't know, bro. All the floor, right? Go. Okay. What are we doing, bro? I have no idea what the hell we're doing, bro. that <laughs> Still trying to remove the dash. Okay. We, didn't the <laughs> we didn't do the pedals yet. All that just to get to the pedals, bro. All that. All that. We should have done that five five hours later. Fuck. Five hours later, I guess. Finally got this piece of shit out. All right, bro. Time to separate the boys from the men. <laughs> Progress is better than. No progress, right? Whew. Damn, shit's a mess. Well, we got the pedals mocked up. Sadly, we're gonna have to drill a hole for the clutch cable. You can see why. You can see why a lot of people don't like to mess with DAs. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, teach the old one, huh? <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna wrap it up with the DA project. It's time to show you my, uh, my secret reveal. You guys ready? Let's go check it out. Hi right, guys. So, you see my EG Hondo style. Now it's time to reveal my next project. Let me know what you guys think it is. Let's go. Here you go. Alright guys, I'm looking at it. Damn, it looks very identical. 
Can you guys take a guess? Comment down below right now. I'll wait. Okay, that's enough. You ready? You guys to see it? You guys ready to see it? God damn, it's another EG. <laughs> I got another EG, guys. This is bone stock. Alright brother, can you take the camera? Let's show you what the phone stock is. Check it out. Feed this, check it out. Oh shit. It's a D series. So I already got this car at the junkyard. Um picked it up for 800 bucks thanks to Brian. Um, missing headlight as you guys can tell but the paint and everything else is all original check this out check this out this car only got 77,000 miles how freaking cool is that uh, it is automatic but I'm not gonna worry about that because this car will get case swap um, got full interior I do have brand new fenders from Honda so I've been collecting parts here and there for it got the factory 13 inch wheels still need to scrape that off but what do you guys think so far I do have this block off plate which is pretty cool too But other than that, another blue EG. This is gonna be my content for you guys. You guys seen my EG in the back? That car will no longer be with me. A couple months now. <laughs> a couple months from now, it's not gonna be with me. Everything's gonna go into this car. So yeah, I wanna take you guys on a journey and see how this car is gonna be built. What do you think, bro? 800 bucks for a bone stock EG. Can't Second owner. Can't be that. Can't be that. Top secret. <laughs> oh, I have so much plan for this, man. Um, what else? Yeah. Shit. It's crazy to find another Captiva Blue EG. All original. Alright guys, we just found out what my secret reveal was. It's another 92EG DX. And yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. And let me know what you guys think. Peace. Close it out. <laughs> I'm supposed to close it out, bro. No. Alright guys, you see my EG, Honda style, now it's the final, <laughs> now it's the final. <laughs> 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 there you go bro. Time to separate the woman from the men. Find out what I got for you guys. You guys see the Conjo EG style? Well, let's go take a look. Follow me. Follow my master. Alright, before I show you guys. He's looking at the car, baby. He's looking at the car.